What's up everyone? My name is Sage and welcome back for another episode of Until Dawn. Yes, the cringy horror fest continues. So last episode, <laughs> we basically got an introduction of all of the characters and among the group of friends, two of them were murdered or killed, uh, Hannah and Beth. And their brother, Josh, invited everyone back to the cabin on the one year anniversary of their deaths. Which is crazy. It's wild that any of them would agree to that. <laughs> I don't quite understand why he would do that. Unless... Unless he is meaning to take revenge. Hmm. Okay, so... Maybe... He invited everyone so that he can seek revenge for... Them... Not necessarily killing his sisters, but it was because of them that they ran off into the middle of the forest and got themselves killed. <laughs> uh, yes, he was basically drunk off of his mind and couldn't protect his sisters. And yes, they did a stupid prank, embarrassed Hannah, and she ran off and her sister ran off to help her and they just died. So... There's a lot of mystery going on in this forest, and we're we're basically in the middle of nowhere in the forest uh, during winter. So yes, uh, I guess I guess we'll see how things go. So that is my theory right now that Josh is wanting to take revenge, and so all of this was all planned. Now, in terms of the analysts, I'm guessing he's our therapist, but. It's odd because his office keeps changing and so it makes me question who I am that is being analyzed and answering his questions. Now when I'm answering the questions, it, I'm kind of answering them both as myself, the player, but also who I would imagine my character to be. <laughs> so I'm not exactly answering all of the questions as if it were me, but I'm answering them depending on who I think my character is, if that makes sense. So, yes, I am curious to see where this goes. We haven't gotten to the scary bits yet. So, I believe where we left off, I am going to be playing as Mike and Jess, and we are headed to the guest cabin to have a little sex time. <laughs> so, yes, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into it. Uh, all right. We are on our way to do the nasty. Before we do that, though, let me check around here. Make sure there are no uh, clues or totems. Okay. I wonder how far this cabin is. <laughs> like, is it a smart idea to go out at night? In the middle of the forest? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Hot Lips. Photo booth? All right, read my mind. Photo booth. We're talking about us. Oh, look at that moon! Good. Okay. R2. Okay. Everyone look at the camera. Look up. Up at the camera. What do you... No, you're supposed to smile. Smile. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. The Damn. cutest couple. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy, and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Hmm. Wink. <laughs> <Noted>. Wink. <laughs> Who says that? I feel like Mike is one of those uh guys that he's. It is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Like, uh... 
he's considered physically attractive, but he's quite a... What did I say awkward? I wouldn't say awkward, but he's... He tries a little too hard to be cool, I guess? Some of the things that he says... It's kind of... Emily's as dumb as she wants if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. <sighs> okay, I don't want to do the same thing that I did with uh, Matt and Emily. Um, because I decided to defuse the situation last time, it made it seem like I was siding with Jess. And I kind of got uh, confused by the words that they used. <laughs> so I think it would be best if I agree with her. Because then... I think you bring out the worst in her. We would be on Is her bad so? side. Epic jealousy. Suck it. Suck it. Okay. Let me check this out. Charitable. Oh, but our relationship status... Got better, right? Okay. Okay. Alrighty. That's interesting. Suck it. Oh, I forgot. We're supposed to turn on the generator, huh. right? Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Yes, he did. <gasps> a totem! I wish you could generate a little excitement about getting that freaking generator to work. Calm yeah, down. I'll just yell at it like you're yelling at me. Let's see if that works. Danger. Wait, that was Ashley. Mike, generator. All right. Uh, I'm getting there, lady. Hold on. All right. My gosh. <gasps> so demanding. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. <laughs> Woo! You are a wizard. Oh. Has that guy just been following us? Wait, should I go back? <laughs> Would he still be there if I went back in there? Oh, I can't even see. Okay. Nothing weird about that. Kazam. Kazam. <laughs> okay. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Totally. That was just awesome. Oh yeah. I bring the hit. I'm surprised she has service up there. You psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure. A sexcapade. A sexcapade. What does fuck mean? I am so psyched right now. What is this? From Hannah and Beth. I think they'd clean it up. Well, they never closed the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. Uh, let's be respectful. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. Okay. 
Um, I don't know, man. I just feel like it's a bad idea to be out there <laughs> at night. Um, did you hear that? Uh-uh. I heard something. Yeah. How are you guys not more concerned? Yo, if I heard that... I would've said, uh-uh, let's go back. <laughs> I don't think we can get up to the cabin with the path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, aka Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. You know what? Fuck it. We're adventurous. We will find another way around. I think it's wild to think that they would put themselves in a dangerous position just so that they can avoid being in the same room as the others. Jess! Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Hey Jessica! Yep. You hey! Um, okay! Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. Holy crap is right! Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Yes, let's be right, heroic. <laughs> I'm your boyfriend. <laughs> Wait! How did... Handsome. Wanna help me move this cart thing? How does she not see him? Yo, girl. No awareness for your surroundings, what the hell? Could use a little help. I imagine us grunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> She's laughing at his jokes. Can you imagine if I told her to move it herself? <laughs> that card is quite heavy. I can't believe she didn't even see that guy. See that guy there. <laughs> oh my god. No, oh, holy crap. <sighs> Oh my gosh, are you okay? Uh, yep. Yep, I'm fine. Those quick time events are gonna get me. No, oh my gosh. I'm telling you. Oh, Nellie. This is a bad idea. This place is giving me the willies. And not the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? Let's save it for the cabin, Buster. Oh, okay. Oh, this one's white. Fortune totem. What was that? I saw something. I saw something. Um, a prophecy of good fortune. How the heck was that good? She was all scratched up? Is it because she's alive? <laughs> oh gosh. Romantic is in red. Does that mean I'm being overly romantic? Did you guys see that? Whatever. Uh 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 uh. You guys are crazy. What is oh, all that's all the sounds?
You know, the cabin is so big. You guys don't even have to be in the same room as Emily. There's something here. Huh. Stogie. We're playing smoke cigars. <laughs> it's recent. Wonder who's out there. Recent? And this? What is this? A shrine? Mystical symbol. This place is like historical. Holy bat cave. It's gotta be Native America, right? Hmm. I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on, no. <laughs> Looks like a that ritual. Like a shrine or something. A shrine to what? Looks more like a ritual, uh. Like a ritual. Or like an offering or something. I don't know. Or it could be a shrine. Interesting. So, wait a minute. It has, uh... It has antlers. Is that a skull with antlers? Or is it a monster? Why don't you know? Y'all think? I think we should have. We shouldn't even have gone this way. <laughs> is there anything here? Oh, there is. Areas at risk. Jesus, this place is a real fixer-upper. Mine danger. Collapse the supports. Rust. Extreme rock ball danger. Flood risk. Blackwood mines. A map showing structure, structural faults in the mine, marked up by a mine engineer. It looks like the owners knew there was a risk of collapse. Really? Can we walk a bit faster, Jess? <laughs> Please, I'd like to get out of here. Finally, a little ray of hope. I wonder if the guy is over there. Wait, is there something on this side? Let me check first. Is that brown? Lost totem. Oh! Wait, was that... Was that Jess with her jaw? Ripped out? Oh. So, are those the two possible outcomes? <laughs> For Jess. Okay. Okay. Cabin. Is there anything here? No, I can't go through there. Okay. Um. Yeah, this cabin seems kind of far. <laughs> On me. Uh, take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for the dumb speech, buddy. Ooh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees. Gonna look at the clouds. Gonna look at the cabin. Oh, 
Well, that's not a good sign. Okay. Let me see. I have no idea what I just saw. Okay. Okay. Uh, sampling the old eggnog again, babe? It's just us up here. Uh, maybe. Okay, they've already had plenty of signs that it's a bad idea to go to the cabin. <laughs> uh, you guys are wild if you still want to go. Hey, Jess? Stay close by, okay? What's up? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Why does the deer look Michael, like that? I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Let's not hug <laughs> a bear. Okay, stop talking. Uh, yeah, you see the deer? Why does it look, um... Kind of vicious, <laughs> doesn't it? Am I just not seeing it right? Why does it look scarier compared to the other two? What's the nose? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> I'm a little paranoid. Okay, so you know what I noticed? There's a... A oh my gosh, the close-ups of the face is <laughs> weird. Um, what I noticed in this game is that they use deer a lot as a symbol throughout the game, I think. We're constantly seeing deer. Uh, like the antlers, we're seeing the antlers. Um... Didn't we have a jump scare? I don't know. Oh, the music. <laughs> oh, you see? Is it a deer or is it an elk? I can't tell the difference. But see, they're... I feel like we see them a lot throughout the game. So I wonder if that has to do with... If that means anything. Ay ay ay! Rats with wings. Uh, let's be witty. <laughs> Answering a mating call. A wow, mating call? Very easy. Yeah. You've got a lot of love to give. <laughs> <I'm> scared. <laughs> I was scared. Oh, it's gone. Am I just overthinking it? <laughs> I feel like maybe deer is an important symbolism in this game. And crows too, right? I don't know. I don't know, but it's not too early to turn back. <laughs> God damn it, Josh. Can you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. Oh, boo! Show off. 
Hey, Mike. You've got something on your face. Ah. Go! Okay. Okay. Is she going to be gone? Hmm. Yes? I think she's playing a prank. Sammy! What? You want to help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, do you need any help with that? Hardy R. Yeah, I don't think anything happens to Jess. I feel like she's playing a prank on him. Come on. Alright, Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. Don't do it, girl. There's a camera in here. <gasps> if Josh is really, uh, doing this on purpose, he's watching you. <laughs> Okay. Well, what was that? Was this room always... No, this wasn't open before, right? Oh, it's a bedroom. Is there anything on this side? Oh, is it Hannah? There's butterflies all over. Hannah, Josh, and Beth, you are invited to Sam's Halloween party. Oh, what? Okay, now I'm really curious as to who I am during my sessions with the analyst Hannah Johan D Smith tattoo artist Okay She really had a thing for butterflies I wonder what butterflies meant to her. <sighs> Happy Christmas 2010, sis. Love, Josh. Okay. Okay, let's close that. Um... Party invite. Dear Hannah, I would be delighted if you could attend my awesome party. Casa de Mike. My house. Gee, Hannah. Crush much? Okay. Hmm, interesting. Is there anything else, Josh? Okay. Feels kind of rude snooping around in her room. <laughs> I don't know what I just said. Did I say weird or rude? <laughs> if I said rude, I meant it's kind of weird. <laughs> Hello, could this be any more about Mike? Hot pick. Compatibility tests, mostly C's. Okay, let's check out all of the clues that we just got. Oh, uh, is there anything else? I think that was it, right?
All right. I guess her, her door just opened up. Magically. We have tattoo card. Hannah had an appointment to get a tattoo. She chose a butterfly design. A screwed up magazine quiz. It looks like Hannah wasn't happy with the answer she got. It's an indication of her emotional state on the night of the twins' disappearance. So did they never find a, their bodies? Did someone just move them, or...? I wonder. Mostly C's. Uh-oh, this is not going to work. He's like a crazy, reckless hunk of a man, and you're staying at home, working on your embroidery, and practicing G minor on the piano. <gasps> Give up on it! Or do something, like, really wild. Run away from home, or get a tattoo or something. Anything to attract his precious attention. I mean, it's for love, right? So just do it. Oh, I guess that's why she decided to get the tattoo. Uh, we have a cigar stub. A stubbed out cigar butt. It looks like it was left recently. There must be someone else up on the mountain. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Mystical symbol. Strange symbols painted onto the wall of the mine. It's not clear what they mean. Yeah. It's got a deer or something. Okay, so... I was confused on what we were dealing with. Whether, whether it was a person, because we kept seeing this person with a machete and a blowtorch. And person with the mask. So I was thinking that we had a murderer. But then, whatever it is that can see in red. And then, of course, what Mike and Jess just saw at the cabin. And whatever is making that screeching sound is definitely a supernatural creature, right? So, I'm confused whether we're dealing with a human or a supernatural creature, or if it's both. That would be exciting, wouldn't it? Postcard. An invitation for a Halloween party with a creepy picture of a scarecrow on the other side. You see, I don't think the picture's creepy. <laughs> I guess because I grew up on a farm. I mean, I see that all the time, although I've never... Where I live, I have not seen a scarecrow. But... Yes, now I'm wondering if whoever is being... Whoever is having the session with the analysts, if it's one of the friend groups. I feel like it would make sense that it's Josh, because he is going through the trauma of losing his sisters. So I wonder if I am playing Josh when I'm answering those questions. Those are my theories! <laughs> oh, the danger totem. That was definitely, uh... Huh. Oh. Ashley. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, I can't take the uh, close-ups of the face. Alright, so what we're supposed to help Josh with the... Find... Josh to ask about hot water.
You can yeah. do it, man. Holy, woohoo! Let's go, Josh. Let's go. Oh, nice. <laughs> Was there a room here? Is this door open? Of course not. Of course it's not. Isn't that kind of fishy? All the doors are locked? Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that somewhere in this crazy place we used to have a spirit board. A what? Wow, you have a spirit board? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like a Ouija awesome. board? Those things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Hey, Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys, see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um, okay. I mean, where I would they so, Brad, even know... Even know where to you look? Right along? Uh, I swear Josh gets everyone to do... all the tasks for him. Let me just make sure... Pretty sure I saw everything. Right, I think so. Just wanted to make sure. Something is very off about Josh. <laughs> I guess it would make sense because he's planning his revenge, if I am correct. You know, how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. <laughs> Mocking, flattering, they are sweet. Chris needs to go for it. You see, sometimes the words that they use, like mocking, I don't know if I would think of it as mocking. Uh, I'll say sweet. Mm. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> That's the worst advice ever. Why does it have to be... Bonding over a traumatic experience. That's where codependent <laughs> codependency comes in. You no, know, Sam. Yes, Josh. That's horrible. <laughs> I just wanted to say. Uh, <sighs> what? Does he like her? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year, and you know that you came, Sam. Unless he's just playing. Because if he is trying to seek revenge, then... Hmm. Hmm. Josh, we're here for you. Really, whatever you need, whenever, we're all going to make it through this. Together. Um, I want us to have a good time, you know? Yeah. I don't quite trust you, though. Hey, watch your step. I think I can handle a little old set of stairs. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is it just me, or is Josh just acting really strange? <laughs> Sorry to drag you down into the bowel. Oh, just get me some hot water and I'll be super fine. I mean, I wouldn't want you coming down here on your own, you know? Well, it's definitely creepy down here. Yep. Not a place to be on your own. It's the way he says it. <laughs>
Ooh, a bat. Uh, is it yours? What's that doing here? Is that yours? You bet it's mine. I used to play ball with my dad all the time. Of course, that was before he got too busy to hang out with me. Ah, we'll save it for the couch, right? <laughs> okay, let me see what I can do with this old hot water machine. Butterfly effect. Here, can you, can you hold this? What was that? What was what? Just shy. What do you mean, what was what? Dude, how did you not hear that? He's on to something. Gosh. Okay, first things first. We gotta increase the water pressure before we get the boiler fired up. Mm, sounds kind of complicated. No, it's actually pretty simple. I swear when it actually counts that don't move, <laughs> it's gonna, gonna make me so nervous. I just saw something. Bye, oh! Mm. Oh my yeah. gosh! I just saw something run back there. Did you guys see it? Wait! His face! That could be a lot of things. His face, that was weird. Nice. What it? <laughs> I'm just. just joshing you. Mm. <laughs> oh, you were really freaked out. No, did you guys see that face that the expression switch? That was kind of freaky. Mm-mm. Oh my god. Don't move. What? Nothing behind you. Yeah, right. Uh let's insist. Check it out together, shall we? <laughs> Maybe we should check it out. Why? <laughs> I don't know. What if it's like a, a pipe that's about to burst or some problem with the furnace? Unlikely. If it were me, I wouldn't want this place to burn down in my watch. Yeah, right. Oh. Uh uh. What are you doing? You're supposed to go first. Yo, what? Why are, why are you making me go first? Yo, what's wrong with you? Something's fishy. I swear that's a prank. <sighs> Keep out strangers! Hey. Uh, what? Hey. What the hell? Oh, Yo. You just got monked. Monked? What? <laughs> nice. Nice one. That was good. Wait, but why would you do that? There's all this cool old movie crap down here. What was I? 
Was I not supposed to take advantage of the opportunity? Are you... Are you serious? Were you in on this, putz? <laughs> no, but I, I wish I was. That was too good. Yo, I knew something was gonna happen and I still got scared. <laughs> I'm ready to admit that your dumb little prank may have a slight whiff of humor. Y'all play too much. Well, I, I said nothing about jokes. I said your prank, which was dumb. Holy crap, you were scared, admit it. I was not! Come on, you totally pissed yourself. Josh! Man, you guys play too much. What in God's name are you wearing? I found my true calling. Mm -hmm. Please <laughs> tell me you're going to take a vow of silence. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. okay, did you at least find the thingy? Oy, 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 oy. Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Mm -mm. You know what? You know what? No, no. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. Mm. All right? So have fun. Oh, but watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Okay. I agree with Sam about going to the bath because... Nope. No way would I be playing around with a spirit board. Look at... What is going on? I would like to understand your feeling toward people of fear, the supernatural. Ghosts, spirits, and other intangible forces beyond the veil. Do you share this fear? I do not. I'm... What is going on here? <laughs> how do you feel about people who are afraid? Oh, gosh. I'm just looking at the bunny and the snake. Oh, the heart is beating. What? Why are you laughing? Um. Okay. I feel sympathy. I see. Well, Mike has a fear of isolation. Do you feel pity for him? I personally would say yes, but I'm wondering if I should say no. With that, okay, how have I been playing? Let's try no. I'm wondering if like maybe... Indeed, that is apparent from the choices you made. Yes, that's what I was thinking. I don't know. Oh gosh, I feel like I... I have to make sure I don't... choose the wrong answers. And now... let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? Um... Oof. Loyalty or honesty? I think for me personally, it would be loyalty. I just find it's difficult to meet people that are more loyal. So you would tell a lie in order to be loyal to a friend, okay. And what about loyalty versus charity? You know, I feel like whatever I choose, he's gonna... <laughs> Twist it in a way that it sounds negative. Loyalty or charity? Uh, I'll go with charity. Such a giving and caring person. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. 
Okay. We'll talk again soon. I wonder what all those answers meant. Wait, the hook? <laughs> Matt and Emily Today still haven't gone back, have they? Of the dreadful tragedies of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. Mm hmm. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. He's Ooh. definitely up to something. Butterfly effect. Excuse me. Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness? Stop it, Mike. Why don't you check out the guest cabin when I told you about? It? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. But watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes. <coughs> Jess. Are they even close to the? Says here. Oh. To communicate with the spirit world, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is me. It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my soul discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious. <laughs> oh, I'm deadly serious. <laughs> oh, shush it. Let's try this. Yes, please. Yes, I do not advise to play around with the spirit realm. Ashley, since you're a recent convert, why don't you be our medium for today? Uh, yeah, let's let's be serious about this. <laughs> uh, Abracadabra. Okay. Um, is anyone there? Y'all are wild. You, you guys are crazy. Reveal yourself to us if you're there. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. H? What's it spelling? Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving it? I swear, it's just moving. Holy shit. Help? How are we supposed to help? I don't know. What does it mean? We need to know who it is if we're supposed to help them. Uh... How can we help you? How can we help you? <laughs> it's moving again. What's it spelling? War. It's moving fast. Warning. Shit. Oh my god. Warning? I think we uh, really need to find out who's trying to communicate with us. I want to know what they mean by warning. What are you warning us about? <sighs> oh, here it goes. Okay, S. I. S. T. E. R. Sister. Sister? sister? <sighs> Who's sister? Oh, come on. Is this for real? Shut up. Ask it who's sister. Josh, it's it's gotta be. Yeah, okay. Well, which sister is it then? Ashley, ask who it is. I'm gonna say Beth. Even though I know Hannah seems to be the main subject of everything. I'm just gonna say Beth, I don't know. <laughs> Are we speaking to? Would it even matter Beth? if I who I chose? Is that you? Oh god! <laughs> this is messed up. Josh? Are you fine? Are you sure? Because we can stop. No. Dude. It's cool. I want to hear what it says. I don't know where to start. Think about it. it. If this is actually Beth, I mean, we can find out what happened that night. Okay. Um, let me think. What happened to you? We're so sorry. Um... Beth? We want to know what happened to you that night. Can you tell us? H A N N. It's spelling Hannah. Wait, it's still going. K I L L. Oh my God. 
killed. Guys, guys, what's she talking about? I don't know if I can keep doing this. We have to just, oh just my stay gosh. calm. I think it's saying that someone killed Hannah. I don't know. I just ask it something else. Person in the back? In the library. Holy shit. Chris. Y'all should I be playing with that? This isn't real. Josh, I don't know what's going on. Listen. I don't know. I don't know if you think messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief or whatever, but this is not cool. Josh, no! You wanted to use the spirit board! Hey, hey calm down. It's, it's not actually. I don't need this right now, okay? You guys are full of it. Should we go after him? Ah, oh, man, I, I mean, he'll be okay. Let's... That was kind of weird. Some time. I don't blame Wasn't it? him. That was crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. I mean, if, if you were faking it, if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. Wasn't Josh kind of weird there? Yes? <laughs> yes! I mean, he said he was okay, and he kind of pushed them to continue. I don't know. There's something off. I swear, Jessica, if you, if you, if you are playing a prank, <laughs> I will kill you myself. Jess, where did you go? This is not funny. What is this? Jess. Buddy, you in there? Buddy? Ah! Whoa! Ah! Christ! You scared the blue out of my jeans. What the hell is that doing? How, anyway? how is the mask even, uh... How did it even... fall like that? What is it hanging on? Jess? Mother plucker. Hun? Light of my life? <laughs> Light of my life? Is there... Is there a way to go here? Oh, there is. Let's see where this one leads. Oh! Seriously? <gasps> this is not funny. Another totem. <gasps> Danger. Okay, more deer. What is it about these this game and deer? So I'm wondering how the totems work. How does it work? Uh Am I supposed to collect all of them? Like does it matter? Yes, they're more like premonitions. So they're just possible outcomes, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I swear, Jessica! <laughs> if you were playing a stupid game, I totally promise I won't murder you when I- No! Oh! Oh, oh my god! No. <laughs> that was so good! No! no. Where does she get the antlers from? I'm not seeing it! No! No! You were 
recorded that? Uh, look at your face! <laughs> I was scared, Jed. You can't just jump out at somebody. I'm in the middle of the woods. It's scary. I'm sorry to scare you. If we send that to anybody, I'm what? gonna kill you. I didn't know you had such a cute little lady like Scream, Michael. <laughs> Guess you never really know someone until you scared the pants off of them. Wow. You know she's quite mean to him. <laughs> she, uh, kind of belittles him in a way, doesn't she? Let's keep it woody. As far as I can tell, my pants are still on. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Looks like you have to try harder. A challenge, eh? Well, I hope you're strapped in, because you're about to feel the full force of my mind-melting thrill skills. What is that? This one's yellow? Guidance totem. Is that maybe in a different part of the mine? I wonder. Hold on, did we go this way? Let me... I don't think so, because I don't see footprints here. What is it about this friend group and them playing pranks on each other all the time? It just seems weird to do it uh, after, you know, their friends were killed because of a prank. Right? Isn't that kind of weird? <laughs> It was because of the prank that Hannah ran into the, into the forest and they both died. I swear you you guys are just <laughs> I don't know. Is there anything? Oh, there is. What is that? Well, well, well. Look at this fun little lovebird carving. M and E? Mike and Emily? An M and an E. Any idea what that could stand for? Oh, could be any, you know, Elizabeth and, and Myron. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe Michael and Emily? Relax. I just didn't realize you were so sappy. Pun intended. She's always taking jobs at him. And I mean, <laughs> his face, I mean, she knew that he was in a relationship with Emily. Hey, I may look like a tough and rugged manly man on the exterior. Manly man. I am in touch with my feelings. I'm not afraid to show a little affection now and again. Oh yeah? You gonna show me some affection later? Girl, all kinds of affection. Oh, is that a check I can cash? <laughs> Wink. <laughs> Let's go, Casanova. He loves to say that. Wink. <laughs> oh gosh, that's so cheesy. It's so cringy. Wink. <laughs> oh gosh. You know, he probably is a softy, but he puts on that persona of what he believes a manly man to be, just so he doesn't come across as weak, I guess. And... Wow. Kind of like a real winter wonderland out here now. Hey girl, you know I hooked you up? <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I was trying to admire the waterfall, not your face. And yeah, I was gonna say, you could see it, how Jess kind of makes jabs at him, makes comments 
that. It's just not nice, you know? <laughs> I would not want my partner to talk to me that way. You guys live. <gasps> you guys live where there's an abundance of nature. What squirrel have you heard that sounds like that? How are you guys not more concerned, or scared, or freaked out? You guys, the cabin is really far. I don't care how how badly I want the hanky panky. This is not a good. This is not a good sign. Um, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna see. Ah! Ah! Deer! A deer? What is it with deer? Oh, is that the cabin right there in the back? Cabin, is it? No, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. Oh, look at the hooks. We just saw that. Okay, what was this? Oh. This is the mask that the man that's been following us is wearing. Is it a gas mask? As much as I would love to take revenge for her pranking Mike, I think I'm just gonna show it to her. So we're on her good side. <laughs> the mask say an old mining gas mask the name inside says it belonged to a miner called billy bates billy bates hmm. okay oh wait a minute there was an update here be her hero Jessica appreciated Mike's heroism. Mike came to Jessica's aid immediately. Something for later. Sam found a baseball bat and left it in the cellar. Was there another part to that? Okay. Ooh, okay, how far? How much further do we have to... Go. I mean, this cabin is really far. It's a hike to get there. Oh, oh. oh God! <laughs> Wait, there was a sound I just heard. There was another sound I just heard. I'm 
want to know. No. No. I don't want to see it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, damn. It's horrible. <gasps> I don't think he's going to make it. How are you guys not concerned about what did that to Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. What if I don't choose? Michael. What? It's in pain. Can't you see that? Yeah. Okay, well, don't kick it. What? Kicking it? I was just... You just what? Shortcut. Oh my god. Hurry up, hurry up. Please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall. Go. I am! Oh, hurry up! Mike! Get the key! Get it open! Oh, oh my god! That was close. I can't believe she got mad at us. What? For helping her. <laughs> Had it under control. Whole time. Oh, bullshit! No, 100%. 100%. 110. Oh, that poor deer. Oh, crap, I feel like I just ran a marathon. I think we kind of did. Was it a bear? Yeah, gotta be. Things are crazy fast. I mean, I didn't see it. Hey, things are not gonna come barging in, I promise. How can you be sure? Because I'm pretty sure bears don't know how to open cabin doors. I've seen them open car doors. What? Where? On the internet. On the internet. <laughs> really? Okay, well, this isn't the internet, uh, Jess. On the internet. Right, this is real life. And I promise you that no bear or anything else is gonna open that cabin door. I guess you're right. But they could break through the window, no? Okay. I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Almost. Huh. Typical. Urgh. This is not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yeah, it's a bit draft or something, right? Butterfly effect? Well, there is a fireplace. Well, we don't need a fire to heat things up. Michael. I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. Okay. A lady would like to cuddle up with her man by a nice cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Yeah, right. <laughs> it, it'll get plenty. Mood of lighting. Once we're rubbing up against each other. My yeah. fire and mood lighting. Yes. Get the girl her mood lighting. She is so demanding. Hold on. I want to see... Oh, the butterfly effect. Was there something? Am I continue to impress... Jessica? Okay. I see the light. Ah, this will take care of the mood lighting. Okay, fire. I'm gonna fire. All right, logs are ready to go. Just need a match. Okay, let's look around here first. What is this? 
Native American myths and legends. Ooh. Oh, cool. The mother bear returned. Oh, make out with an ice sculpture. I suggest you get a fire going. Pronto. The mother bear returned. She was. What does it say? Enraged and attacked the merchant, but he managed to escape with her cub's pelts. A mighty eagle saw this and swooped at the merchant as he ran through the trees, but a gunshot frightened the eagle away. The merchant was leaving the forest and was gleeful, thinking of the money that would soon be his. A great tree. You're lighting a fire, Michael. Not writing a novel. How much longer is it gonna take you? Hush your face. It's like we weren't the only ones to meet the friendly neighborhood terror bears. Oh. That does not make me feel any better. Native American signs and symbols. Native American hunters use symbols and signs scratched on the trees, or daubed onto walls to communicate with other tribe members. Many symbols conveyed religious or mystical beliefs. Others warned of danger or offered protection and some told of good hunting grounds it's so cold in here right now my tongue will get stuck to your flagpole oh my gosh girl please be quiet <laughs> uh most symbols were specific to the tribe that used it and would be unrecognizable to other tribes shown below and opposite are some symbols used by tribes in north america and canada a vision of a dream of the future. A ward or spell protecting against evil spirits. Oh, that's what we saw at the mine. Oh, hold on. I want to see. Updated. Oh. According to the book in the cabin, the symbols are to ward off evil spirits. Okay, so it's definitely a, uh, supernatural creature. Does this have to do with, like, a Native American folklore? There's a section showing symbols which the Native Americans used to keep evil spirits away. Good hunting ground. Okay. Oh, Jess! Look at this! Is it a fire? No. Way cooler. Why would you scare her with a gun? That's stupid. Huh? Hey, like me now. Oh my god. Why do guns make them go completely bonkers? <sighs> Nothing. Oh gosh. So judgy. <sighs> She'll never understand what we have together. <laughs> oh gosh. Hold on, can I go into this? Room. What's it here? What is this? Oh, it's Hannah. Tennis photo. Hannah winning bronze. Alberta Invitational. Oh. What's in here? Shit. <laughs> what do you think was in there, Mike? <laughs> Come on. Oh, gosh. Oh, poor Mike. He's been scared. He's had the... He's been scared so much. Kama Sutra. Oh, okay. The Kama Sutra. 
Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> These guys were inventive. Okay. Whoa. I'm not sure if I'm ready for such advanced levels of game play. Game play. What was it? Okay. I guess that wasn't a clue, right? <laughs> Oh gosh. The Kama Sutra. Anything on this side? No. What is this? Nice. This will lighten up the mood a little. Oh! Ah! Hey! Why are you okay? What are you doing? It's it's the lights. I know it's the lights, dummy. You broke them. But it's probably faulty wiring or something. You've got faulty wiring. <laughs> she just called you dumb. Honestly, shouldn't Josh have taken care of all of that before his friends came over? He pretty much made him do everything. Turn on the generator and everything. Mike! What? Oh, Her phone? What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone! It is gone, okay? Just slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. Can't find it? Crap! No! I must have dropped it outside. Oh, oh yeah? World well, staying outside. It's my phone. My parents will kill me. You can always get a new one. That's like my fourth one this year. Okay. Four? Okay. Well, I'll have you look for it. Wow. It's got to be outside. Yeah, I don't think we want Who to go goes there. through four phones Whatever. in a year? Whatever it is. <sighs> Fine. Seriously? <laughs> You're more concerned about that than your safety? I mean, how are they not after what they saw with the deer? It just boggles my mind, you know? Oh, it matches. Looky, looky. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? You've been dying these outlines since we got here, haven't you? Uh, who's gonna fire up some nookie? Oh gosh. Could he be like a closet nerd? <laughs> I don't know. Man one, fire zero. Very nice. Bravo. Oh, what is right. that? What comes next? So do they see whatever that is? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, So, do they only see movement, or can they see light too? Oh, that means whatever that is, is a great hunter, right? Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. Her phone? Mm -mm. It's your phone. What? How is he so calm about it? How is it my phone? I don't know. It just came through the window. Oh, for fuck's sake, god damn it! What? Those goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us and just when we were getting down to business. <sighs> getting down to business. Hey! Yeah, 
Rex! That means you! What the hell are you doing? What the fuck are you trying to do? You want to ruin our fun that bad? Well, guess what? Oh, God. You can't ruin our good time because Michael and I are gonna fuck. That's right. We are going to have sex and it's gonna be hot. So enjoy it because I know we're going to. <sighs> oh, gosh. We're going to have sex. Sex. Mm, something's gonna happen. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> what the hell was you really that? Think the girls were communicating with us. I don't know. I don't know if I wish they were, or if I wish they weren't. I guess we should find out. Did I just kill Jess? Did I just kill her off? What the heck? Is there something up here? Josh looked really freaked out at the seance. Yeah, I mean, he, he looked like he was keeping it together, but... Do you think we shouldn't have mentioned his sisters? I mean, it's why we came back up here. Yeah, but not to, like... Have a seance? Maybe we went too far. Hold on. Did I just kill Jess? <laughs> that was so incredibly stupid. After what they just saw with the deer? What the hell, girl? You kind of asked for it. Jessica was a pushover. <laughs> kind of true. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. What is this? Are those glasses? A glass. Hannah's glasses case. Ooh. A glasses case with Hannah's initials on the back. Hannah was wearing her glasses on the day she went missing. Oh. Her tennis photo. A framed photo of Hannah playing tennis. Okay. Is there anything else on this side? No. When they were doing the seance, or the spare board, there was a figure, right? A woman, a woman's, uh, figure in the background? So... Oh, they're going to the library to find a clue. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> Okay. I notice there's a lot of masks around here. Damn it. That's kind of odd, right? There's something on this side? Oh. Yeah. The power's not even on. Weird. Light from below? So someone's down there? Uh, you guys are... <laughs> I would have been that one person that's like, You guys, this is not normal. We gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh, oh, mm. Are you okay? I think mm -mm. so. Mm. Look! What? There was something behind the books! What is that? Is it a button? Why would there be a button? That's a good question. It's a secret, secret That's room. That's what buttons are for, I guess? <laughs> That's what buttons are for! Ooh, it's a secret room. Oh, that opens. That explodes! Are we, like, in a movie right now? If we are, I hope it's a rom -com. Leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house? I mean, maybe they didn't even know. This place is super old. 
How would they not know? Should we take a look? Yeah, after you. No, 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 no. You go. <laughs> Gee, thanks. After you. There are a lot of masks. Oh, there's a camera. I noticed there's a lot of masks. But someone's watching. Portrait photo. What? Whoa, is what this... did you find? I will take them and bleed them like pigs and rip their soft white skin off. Fucking 16 years. 16 years I waited for pretty little Hannah and Beth. Oh, okay. Holy cow. Oh, gosh. Let's be honest. Now, now Ash, I, I, I don't want to freak you out, but, but look at this. So what? someone, someone's Chris, watching. What is that? I, I think this might be what the spirit board wanted us to find. The clue? Yeah, it's a letter. Let me see it. It's a, a threat. Chris, this is serious. We need to find Josh right now. So there's a camera in the bathroom and there's a camera in there. Are there cameras? Uh, uh, around the rest of the house? Why- Why is there a candle on the floor? They can't go through there. Okay. Oh! 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 You're kinda in the way. <laughs> There's nothing in here though, right? Another clue? Okay, wait. I wanna see what- What that is about. A portrait of the Washington twins. They, this must have been taken a few months before they disappeared. What is she doing with her hands? So they disappeared. Light from below? The electricity is out, but there is an Electric light shining from the room below the library. A creepy note written to the Washington family, threatening to ex exact revenge on Hannah and Beth. Would that be the... The, uh... Ex-janitor? I think so, because it says... Swears revenge on... He did threaten the family. I wanted to make... them suffer, so I wonder if that's the... ex-janitor that wrote that threatening letter. Did anything update? Okay. So, where is Josh? I feel like he's in on it. Well, that's convenient, isn't it? Uh, what was that? Yeah, I feel like he's... Oh gosh, look at the masks. I feel like he's in on it. <laughs> Did he plan everything? Do you think someone was actually after Hannah and Beth? If so, that would be really messed up. Uh, race and ethnicity department. Dear Dr. Swafem, thank you for your response. It's good to know that the tribe still feel an attachment to the land here. Even if we have had a few unfortunate problems, graffiti, people sleeping in, sleeping in the outbuildings, this is their ancestral home after all. I have made contact with the descendants of the tribe and intend to make a donation to their elder council. Healing the wounds of the past won't be easy, but I feel it's a step that is necessary. Melinda, oh, Melinda Washington. Did she write this after 
they bought the land, and I guess the indigenous were not happy about them buying the land. So they just wanted to pay them off or something? Looks like it was written by Josh's mom. Yeah, she's really making an effort to set things right with some native tribe or something. Yep, the bad karma goes back a long way. Saw that crazy guy again, Thursday, 9.17 p.m. Hanging around the generator shed. I'm going to start keeping a record. Does this say anything else about that? A letter from Josh's mom about the Native American tribes that used to live on the mountain. On the back is a scrawled note about a strange man she saw near the lodge. Huh. Sounds to me like she didn't really want to have to deal with maybe the outrage of the natives? I don't know. Wow, was that the front door? I can't tell. I'm pretty lost. <laughs> so, um, I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So. So what, you're saying there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? There was a message on this answering machine I found, and it... It, it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who had just gotten out of prison and that there was nothing he could do. Well, what do you mean? He was saying it like... like a warning. I mean, maybe that's whoever was down in the basement before. What? Under the floorboards in the library, the light. Well, there was that guy I told you whoa, about. Whoa, wait, 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 what guy? The guy who threatened the Washingtons. I mean, he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. And then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. <gasps> you hear that? That was Josh! Coming from the kitchen. <gasps> Josh! 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 Oh. Coming! Hold on! Ashley! You can, um, gonna... Uh, Ash? Ash? Oh. Hey. oh! Oh, that was... That was in the totem, but it was Ashley. that? Would that be Josh? What the heck? What the heck? There's so much going on. Who? Because we don't know what happened to Josh. He just left. And it... What the hell? <gasps> Bunny rabbit. Because if we are dealing with Josh who's seeking revenge, then maybe that's him. Am I Josh right now? Yo. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. Maybe you don't like them as much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time, your answers are important. All right. Yes, I prefer Sam. 
I don't trust Josh. Oh, for sure, Matt. <laughs> hmm. I'll go with Ashley. I feel like Chris plays a bit too much games, I guess. Oh, gosh. I'll say Mike. Jessica is definitely mean. <laughs> what was that look he gave? Oh gosh. Uh, okay, I'll go with Josh. <laughs> I'll go with Chris. <laughs> Honestly, I really don't like either of them. I mean, Jessica was pretty much waiting for her friend to break up with her boyfriend so that she can sneak in and take him for herself. But Emily's also really mean. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Oh, man. <sighs> okay, I'll go with Emily. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. A bit too bitchy for your taste. Often the lack of confidence manifests itself as overconfidence. Think about that. Is that not just a little bit like... Like me? Oh, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. Wait, what do you mean by that? That's a mannequin, isn't it? That's so weird. Hold on! There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. Apparently, he had warned them against pursuing their construction project in Blackwood Pines and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. S. I. S. T. Sister? Ask it whose sister? Josh, it's... it's gotta be... Which sister is it then? Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Ash! That has to be Josh, right? I'm gonna play for a little bit more because I want to know what happened here with Jess. Oh, jeez. Loyalty. Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! What the fuck? Jessica! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, Jess! crap. Jessica! Okay, shortcut. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> it's making me nervous! Is she even alive? Jesus. She's alive. Jess! Why are why why are you not looking at what's pulling her? Oh my gosh, dude. 
Oh, please. Please don't break your legs. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so nervous. Let's jump. Okay. <sighs> oh, oh, gosh. You guys, my anxiety is up the roof right now. <laughs> Jessica! Oh, crap. I'm glitching. My light is glitching. Jessica, I'm coming. Hold on a moment, I'm Jess. Coming. Hold on a moment. I'm trying to see if there's anything. <laughs> Let's walk a little bit faster. Oh, my light is glitching. Jessica! Oh, another totem. Kind of nervous. It's yellow. Was that a dog or a wolf? Oh, what's with the, my light? <laughs> it's like, it's like I'm, I'm having a disco party. <laughs> okay, let's hurry. Let's hurry. Jessica! What the heck? What the heck is that? What the heck is it? What happened? Oh, you could hear her music. Was it her phone? No! Oh, God! No, Jessica! Oh, God! Oh, Jess! she's alive! Jess, are you okay? Oh, shoot! Oh! Help! What? What the fuck? Uh, I don't want to waste the bullet. What? 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 what, what? Never mind. I'll waste the bullet. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I originally was not going to use it, but whatever that was did not look human. So I decided to risk it. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. <sighs> oh my god <sighs> Okay Shit I'm not gonna use it this time There he is Cause we don't know who that is 
And I don't want to waste my bullet in case I need it. I hope I'm making the right choice. <laughs> I just gotta make it! Oh gosh. <laughs> I swear, when they do the quick time events, the fact that they place it all over the place and you don't know where, huh, where it's gonna pop up, makes me nervous. Oh my gosh, he's out in the snow? In a tank? Jesus, what the fuck is that place? Oh, I see the guy. Okay. Oh, no. I don't know if she survived or not after that drop. Ashley! Oh. I thought she died the first time, but I, I don't know if she survived that. Ash. Ash! Oh. Was that blood? Not good. Not good at all. Is there anything on this side? Mm. Okay, before... Because I think we need to go through the door, but I just want to check around very quickly to see if there's anything. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. This, 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 I'm, I'm already nervous. <laughs> oh. Okay, deer and crows. Oh shit. No. Is that real blood? Or is that paint to scare him? I swear if this is all a prank again, you guys seem to enjoy pranking each other. And the door's open. Ash! Is there anything around here? No. Okay. Okay. Ashley! Uh, let's hope everyone is okay. Ashley! Anyone out there, Ashley? Is there two different ways? What's here? Oh. What in the hell? <clears throat> Who would do this? Okay, is this a prank? I swear. The eyeballs are moving. 
What? That reminds me of like uh, what was said in the the letter. Um, didn't they bring up pigs in the threatening letter? <laughs> Another totem. I'm so nervous. Is that black? No idea what that is. Wait, let me see. Ugh. To the rescue, Mike successfully chased after Jessica, but I don't know if I saved her. A pig's head dumped on the mountain. It's fresh and there's blood splattered all. Was it pig's blood, maybe, that was in the- in the room? Hmm, it was fresh blood, too? Yeah, bleed them like pigs. That is so creepy. That's a really sick joke if this is a prank. That's like too much. Ash. 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 Nervous, what are you gonna find? Ash, uh, can I check back here first before I go in there? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to go in there yet. <laughs> kind of scared what I'm gonna find. Wait, how far does this go? Oh, I see something. Mm -hmm. It's another totem. Oh, this is brown. Okay. I can't tell who that was. Oh, oh, oh. Is there anything here? No. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll go in. I don't want to. Ooh. Ashley! I'm here. Where are you? Um, I don't know. Are you okay? What, what the hell happened? Please help me. Hey. <laughs> God, God damn it. <laughs> oh. Sorry, please. The jump scares in this game is ridiculous. This is just like there? Saw. Hello. And thank you all for joining me. Wake up! 
tonight. What? We're going to do that a little experiment. Sort of test. Now for this experiment, we'll need the cooperation of our two test subjects. Joshua and Ashley. Oh my gosh, this is just like We're saw. We're going to need one more brave participant to help decide which subject will live and which will die. Oh no! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, Grant! Oh, get us out of here! Is this for real? Please, please, everyone calm down. It's all very simple. Christopher, you will find the lever placed directly in front of you. All you have to do is choose who you will save. Okay, 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 this is gonna be okay. Oh, dude, buddy, oh let's just God. think about this for Grant, a minute. You can't let me die. Just give me a second. I, I, what I, do uh, I do? I can't think straight. Just. Huh? Oh my gosh. I know that we're friends with Josh, but... I'm gonna save... I'll save Ashley. Ashley, I'll get you out of this! I won't let you die! No. Thank you. No. That's horrible. This is insane! This is nuts! This isn't happening! Please tell me this isn't happening! Oh. I see. No, Chris! No, 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 Ashley, oh. really? I'm coming, Ash. I'm, I'm gonna get you. I'm running you down. Shh, 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 stop, please. Come on, come on. Let's let's, let's get no. you down. Come on, we're gonna get you out of here. No. Oh. <gasps> no. You gotta go, okay? Oh, there they are. Ashley! What? What? Who's you guys missed out on a lot of fun. Chris, what happened? Josh, Josh, what? Dude, you said Wait, not what? right in front of us, man. What are you talking There's about? There's a maniac. Maniac? Oh my god, we gotta get out of here. I don't understand what happened. There's a yes, maniac. listen to Emily. It was either him or Ash, and I, I don't know what oh, to do. Come right through, man. Fucking everywhere! What? Oh my god, Chris! I, I killed him! Oh, I, I, I killed him! It was my fault, man! No, no, this is insane. We need to go get some help. We come right in half! We're gonna figure this out. <laughs> Matt, we need to go get help now. Em, we should look for the others. Mike and Jess are off 69ing each other, and who knows where Sam is. I think she's in the lodge. Fine. Fine, you're right. Get everyone else together, but if there's a maniac running around, I think we need to get some help, too, right? Not just wait around. But what about... Why are we still talking about this? Let's go! Exactly. You guys are just... You guys are just... Wasting time. Psycho. Oh. oh! What the heck? What the heck? Hello again. Things are getting pretty tense out there, aren't they? Is the night going the way you hoped it would? Oh, 
should I say it's going fine? <laughs> um, I feel like I should answer the way I wouldn't answer normally. Let's try it. And you think that these poor people are getting what they deserve? Uh... Who are you? I'm trying to help you. And this game you're playing... You understand that it's not good for you. It's not good for anyone. I can't say that you've been very charitable in the way you play. Really? In the way that I play? How so? What did I do wrong? Do you intend to continue with this elaborate self indulgence? Not at all. Not at all. The heart of the problem, it all comes down to this. Can you really tell the difference anymore? I doubt it. Okay, I'm going to end it here. Oh my gosh, this game is wild. I don't know... Was I wrong about Josh the whole time? Oh my gosh. Was I wrong about him? Am I a horrible person? Uh, oh gosh. Now... Doctor... What's his name? Doctor Hill? When he asked us if we think he's real, and I said no, he said that we can't tell what's real or what's not. So it is true that whatever the whole thing with the analyst is like in my head, or it's an, it's a hallucination, if I can't tell what's real or what's not. Now I wonder, if I am Josh that's having the session, Maybe the trauma of losing his sisters triggered some sort of mental illness? But then, if he's dead... Then what's going on? I am so confused. <laughs> I'm like questioning my life choices now. <laughs> I'm so confused. Now, I am not sure if I killed Jess again. I thought she was dead the first time, but I don't know what happened. She was alive and then she just... plummeted into the depths of the mine. And then it looked like... Okay, the, the thing... It has to be some sort of creature. The thing that grabbed her... That I shot at the first time, that did not look human. But then the, the guy... Just popped up with the mask. How is he involved in all of this? And how... I don't know. There's like... Uh, different storylines that are weaving together and it's kind of confusing me. <laughs> oh my gosh, the quick time events? <laughs> I got so anxious. <laughs> my, I could feel my heart beating. <laughs> uh, really fast. And then I'm really nervous about the don't move because I'm sure when... The time that it actually matters, that I'm gonna freak out and mess up. I hope not. So yeah, it seems like we're finally getting to the good part, right? Uh, I guess next time Mike is gonna follow that guy to that building. And then... Oh gosh, I don't know. <laughs> Throughout this whole thing, Sam is just chilling in the bathroom, isn't she? <laughs> Yeah, I, I'd like to be her in this situation. I don't know. Usually I'm really good at uh, 
at uh, reading people's energy. But I guess that was totally wrong about Josh. Makes me feel like I'm a horrible person for thinking that. Because I know he's going through, you know, losing his sisters. I don't know. But, uh, yes, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!